Our first segment brings us to California Polytechnic State University, where we ask poly students, what one book does anyone from the Western world have to have read in order to consider their education complete? Here's what some of them had to say. Okay, I think that everyone should have to read Lord of the Flies because of the metaphorical symbolism stuff in it, and it's really just interesting and I learned a lot from it and I feel like it really alludes to history and what has happened and so it's like a way to learn about our culture by reading just a novel. Because just the way that the people interacted on the island um, really symbolized how people interact in government situations and in America and like in culture and how like there's the person that's more in charge even like groups of friends like just the way that these children had to interact on the island just and how it like represents how things have happened in history like it's just yeah <laughs> like I think you should have to be able to like understand certain parts of the Bible honestly like especially like Old Testament because it's like even though, like, I'm not religious at all or anything like that, but, like, even for my English classes, like, we had to read parts because it's super hard to understand and it has, like, a lot of the underlying values, I guess, that, like, stem from a lot of Western, like, culture. So, I don't know, like, I think you should just at least be able to understand the language that's used in it. I don't know if you, obviously you shouldn't have to read the whole thing, but parts of it. Sorry, it's really bright, I have, like, my eyes closed. Okay. I think that everybody needs to read Catcher in the Rye because it's a very uh, a book that, that has a lot of controversy surrounding it and America is all about uh, people in their belief systems and, and what they, they want to believe. So because that book has, has a lot going on with it, uh, it has to do with America because America has a lot going on with it. You'd have to read American Psycho because it goes through the mental state of someone and I don't know, you have to think about what's going on a lot. <laughs> Sun Tzu's Art of War because it teaches you strategy for all kinds of parts of life. Um, things fall apart, I would say, because it's it's a book that explains most of I would say American history, but not not just American history, but like it shows, you know, colonization was a big part of our history, and things fall apart like puts it all in perspective. I think it does. It's a book that everyone should read. Everyone should really read that book. Yeah. I think that The Omnivore's Dilemma is an important book to read, but it kind of depends on your background. Like, I'm in sustainable agriculture, so I feel like it's important for anybody, if, even if you don't agree, because you need to understand the entirety of um, your education, what you're getting an education in. Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, the whole trilogy, because it's the biggest story ever. No swearing. Say, no swearing. Use your imagination. Uh, it's a good depiction of imagination, and it's beautifully written. Um, I think the one book is The Giving Tree, uh, because it teaches as a little kid how to grow up and uh, how a strong connection between a little boy and even a simple tree, uh, how it just grows and teaches good life lessons while you're a kid. So now that you've heard what they have to say, leave a comment or post a video and tell us what you think.